Less than a month away from the start of the Canadian Premier League's fifth season, and our friend from the Canadian Premier League, Christian Jack, joins us now with some pretty impressive, pretty exciting news about the CPL. And KJ, that is the introduction of a new playoff format that will see a fifth team added as they chase the North Star Shield. We're going to throw up the bracket. We're going to go line by line, explain what you need to know about these changes, and then KJ is going to weigh in for us. But as you can see, that fifth team begins the playoffs this season. Fourth hope hosting fifth. The winner of that match, they would go on to play the third place team and take a look at the top of the bracket. Right away, first versus second, a page playoff style. The winner advances straight to the Canadian Premier League final. Not only is that incentive for the first place side, it's an incentive for the second place side as well as they can fast forward to a chance to lift the North Star Shield. It also gives the highest seeds each a chance to host a must-win single match elimination playoff game. KJ, lots to be excited about. <laughs> we know that this has been a playoff format that's constantly been evolving for the CPL. Why was it important to continue to make this change? Well, I mean, for us, we have to remember that we're a development league, first of all. You know, and you know, I'm really proud of this system. That's one that I, I really push for as well within the league because for me, you know, ultimately every game needs to matter within the league campaign. It's great this year that the commissioner has announced that obviously the regular season competition is very different from the playoff format. There will be a trophy awarded. There will be a spot in the CONCACAF Champions League in 2024 for that champion of the regular season, which we're used to in football around the world. That benefit, obviously, of the long format, the best play, the best teams over that format. This is a, this is a separate competition, but I do feel that it needed to have value from the regular season. And now we have what we call a tier system. So every first to fifth, every tier is different mm -hmm. in terms of the value of that. What did we hear last year? A lot of our broadcasts, we heard a lot of coaches saying, it doesn't really matter whether we finish second, third, or fourth, even at the time first. You can't really have that in a development league and I think this is important well and when we think about the race last season even for the top four if you were to implement this system last year already you would see that fifth place team not feel like they're out of it sure they want to get into that top four to host that match right. but now even if they don't get there they're racing the sixth place side the seventh place side just to get into the playoffs and really it's good to have them invited to the party but that's not an easy path for the fifth place side either so it's not no. a bigger advantage it's not deliberately it's not an easy path it's some Cinderella run what are we in March Madness right <laughs> yeah, now exactly. so let's talk about the Cinderella run, right? They have to go to the fourth, they have to go to the third, they have to play the loser of the first second just to get to the final and again be away. You're looking at four away matches to win to get to the trophy, but it gets them in. And I think, again, it speaks to the competitive value. So, the, you know, the same amount of percentage of, of teams make the playoffs that they do in Major League Soccer, yep. which I think is important as well. Ultimately, this is a league that's going to grow with expansion, not necessarily with more teams coming in. So I think that this format continue will work for, for a number of years. Regular season sport in North America is attracted by money and dollars because a lot of the a lot of the hockey, NBA, people go to watch them because they're the best players in the world, Adam. But I think we'll all know when we put our money down that sometimes they go through the motions a lot too much. Does the game really matter? We know the Maple Leafs are playing the, the Lightning. We've been knowing that for months. We yeah. saw what Damian Lillard said, obviously, about the NBA today and coming out. We have to have games of meaning so much in a development league so when players go to Poland like they've done or Scotland or go to these European places all around the world that they're going into a competitive environment right away and that's what the CPL is trying to continue to, to create and exist for. The games of meaning but also for the supporter, for the viewer at home, every single one of these matches is must see. Doesn't matter who you support because it is the latter, especially that first versus second. Obviously you finish first, you're going to Champions League, you're the regular season champion, but if you're second, you're just short, you still might have that path to hosting the Canadian Premier League final. Very exciting times just as it is in general with the league's just a month away from its fifth ever season. Yeah, and the key difference, Adam, on second to third is enormous when sure. you think about it, you know? And that's very important going in. We've had a fantastic race the last few years for the season, but you want that second place to be something so valuable. Yeah, they might just miss out on the Champions League or the, or the regular season champion, but they're only one game away from hosting a final, you know, while third place has to go through the bottom side, the, 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 the other side of the bracket. So, as I said, the tier system's in there. Every game of meaning, the top four still all get a home game, but games of meaning rather than dead you know dead rubbers or I think lethargic first legs that we had last year when we're waiting for the second leg to ignite the games so there's a lot to like about this but I think it again stress the competitive value for the players within the CPL to know what it means every single game I think the storylines will be really important all the way through the 112 regular season games and then of course what we've got with the five games in the playoffs so the second week of October is when we see this begin but April 15th is when we see the league kick off in earnest with some incredible and juicy matches including an introduction to Vancouver FC Christian Jack, we can't wait just a month away. Thanks, Adam.
Well, it all begins 1 p.m. on the 15th of April at Letico, Ottawa. The reigning regular season champions hosting the Halifax Wanderers. They look sharp in their new kit. They also have pretty close to a brand new roster, those Wanderers. The juicy one, of course, the meat in the middle of the sandwich. Forge and Cavalry never disappoints. 4 p.m. Pacific time to wrap up the triple header. The debut of Vancouver FC against Pacific, York United and Valor will get going the day after. And it's not just the CPL because we have CONCACAF Nations League just around the corner. Not long before we see the men's national team in action for the first time since the World Cup. The 25th of March, they are at Curacao and then the 28th, just a few days later, BMO Field, a 7 p.m. Central Time start at BMO for that match. 